Hi everybody, Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I won't keep you long. I just wanted to show this cute book to you. My um, eldest daughter had her first baby last February and she's um, going on nine months old. And anyway, she requested uh, this book for one of her Christmas presents. So I ordered it a few weeks ago and got to wondering just yesterday, when is this going to come? Um, and I sent her a text. I'm like, has that book gotten there yet? So anyway, just a little background information. But it finally came today. And this is called Snow in the Garden, a first book of Christmas by Shirley Hughes. Back when Kristen, my daughter, whose daughter is getting this book, um, when she was just a little girl, a good friend of mine, Barb, told us about Shirley Hughes. And I just fell in love with all her books and loved reading them to my kids. This is a, um, well, this book was printed in the UK, as you can see. And I'm assuming Shirley Hughes is also from the UK. And I think that's one reason why I love, let me get this thing out of the way. It's making it hard for me to move my book here. It's other Christmas presents stacked up. Um, her I lost my train of thought, but I love her artwork because it's a reflection of kind of just life in the UK with little kids. When my kids were growing up, it just really resonated with me. I think her her art is so beautiful. It has so much personality and it's so realistic in that the details are just kind of like what the average family would encounter. It may be slightly different than what a family in the United States would experience, um, but not so much. But I guess um, what I mean by that is I just think it's like, you sort of get a feel of, I want to say middle class English lifestyle. I went and visited my friend Barb after she had her first baby. And gosh, that's been too long ago. <laughs> Anyway, and so seeing this book kind of reminds me of those days when my oldest kids were little. I mean, some of the fashions are a little dated, but you just get that lovely feeling. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just such a good depiction of family life and the funny little ways kids think about things. This book includes a few patterns to make things. Um... And it also has a few recipes, and it has some cute little poems. I mean, look at that winter scene. That looks just like, I mean, maybe somebody living like in New York or something gets to walk through a park and have a cityscape in the background. Um, that's definitely not like where I live in the Midwest, but um, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just fun. It's so cozy and homey to look at these pictures. Here they are at the market. So here's snowflake cakes. The thing is, if you get this book, be prepared to switch the ingredients to our way of measuring, like 60 grams of margarine. I have no idea what that is. And castor sugar, I think it's powdered sugar. Um, but anyway, it's just a beautiful little book. And I'm so glad that my little granddaughter has parents who love books. They love reading. And Kaylin is being exposed to books and given that love of reading at such an early age. It's just such a wonderful thing to see. So I just paged through this because, like I said, I love Shirley Hughes. So if you are looking for an idea, um, you might want to check that out. If you have some little people in your life that would enjoy a book like that, or if you like all things English and like to get as much of that possible, this might be a fun book to add to your Christmas book collection. I have been so busy, um, self-imposed busyness because my, well, well, I'm talking in circles. I'm trying to get all my Christmas stuff done now so I can enjoy Thanksgiving and the month of December without it just being a list of get this done, get that done, send this, do that, blah, blah, blah. I don't like that. I want to be able to just be festive, have fun, see friends, you know, shop for the fun of shopping, but not in a frantic mode, all those kinds of things. I'm really making an effort to get it done now. 
So I feel like my days have just been eaten up and I'm passing very quickly, but I haven't made too many videos. So when this came today, I thought, okay, I'm gonna just stop in, say hello, and show you this delightful little book. And um, I guess that's all. I don't wanna keep rambling, so I'll cut it off now before that happens too bad. And take care, we'll see you next time.